So now I want to show you linked track editing. So I've got these tracks here that I already recorded and they're the same thing, right? So if we solo them, they're all the same. Now, because they're the same and I want to treat them similarly, I can now link the tracks. So if I highlight all the tracks, I can go to link tracks. Boom. All right, now you see this little icon here. If I click on that icon, it's going to highlight all of the link tracks. So now you have the ability to do all kinds of amazing stuff with these tracks all at the same time. So for instance, if I want to fade all of these tracks in over time, it's going to allow me to do that. And if you link tracks together, you can also change the warping of them at the same time. So see how I'm moving these around. This is also a game changer, especially if you're recording different microphones, but using the same instrument in the same takes and you kind of mess up something, you want to nudge it a little bit. Well, you can nudge all of the tracks this way. Super duper cool. You can also edit all of the tracks at once. You can copy and duplicate. You can do all kinds of stuff when you link tracks together. You can also add tracks to the link track. So for example, these are all linked here, but if I want to add these to those, we can link all of those tracks. And so now when I click the link icon, all of these are linked together. And if I want to take one out of it, I can unlink the track and now it's on its own again. Another cool thing about link tracks is if you want to arm them all at the same time, you can do that here. And as well, these can be in a group. So you can have these grouped. Say, I'm going to just unlink these for a moment. So I'm going to click on this, unlink. Say these are in a group, group together. And you can say link tracks. So now everything in the group is going to be linked. And if you want to record multi tracks, you can basically set this up in the same way. Maybe if you have two microphones, and you could record two takes at once. And then you could link these together as well and comp them. So for instance, say, you know, I've got this track here and that I recorded, and I'm just gonna ungroup these tracks here. And say I wanted to do some take lanes for this, so I could insert my take lane. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that again. So it is going to be option shift T. And so I'm just going to go ahead and bring some of these tracks in here since they're all the same. All right. So now we've got two different takes here and I'm just going to fold up the take lanes here. So we've got two different comp tracks, say that they were recorded with the same instrument at the same time, but different microphones. So then we could link these tracks. And then you have the ability to comp both of these as well. So at the same time, so say, you know, you liked the takes down here on this lane, see how it's selecting the same second take up here, which is super duper cool. So you could just go return there. And now it's going to have that take two from both different microphones showing up. This is pretty awesome. And another way that I like to get creative with linked editing is to take a bunch of different clips. So I'm just going to take, I'm going to fold up these take lanes here. And I'm just going to take a few different instruments. They're not the same take, right? So I'm just going to take this bit here. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my take lane again, right? So command shift T. And then I'm just going to take some other parts here. So I'm just going to take this and populate it in here. And this is going to be a bunch of just random stuff that <laughs> may sound good and it may not, but we'll see. Imagine doing this with drums as well. Oh my gosh, that'd be super cool. Just some different drum breaks. Uh, let me grab this bit here, put it there. 
right, so now we've got completely different tracks, right? So there's just, I'm just going to call this mashup and I'm going to solo it. And now let's just audition every track so that you can hear that it's different. All right, so we've got different stuff here. So let's just kind of go in and try some random stuff, see what it sounds like. I'm gonna go in with my pencil tool now, so it's a little bit. Da, da, da. And let's just go here, just trying some randomness, see what it sounds like, All right? All right, let's see. That actually sounds pretty cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can bring different takes into take lanes and do some creative comping stuff. Maybe try it with drum breaks or some other instruments and just get super creative. And not only can you do this with audio, but you can do it with MIDI. So I've got this 808 track here. And I can go ahead and do the same thing. So insert my take lane. You can add a couple different take lanes here using my option shift T command. And then I've got some other iterations here. So say, you know, let's put this one to number one, number two, and then uh, like this bit, this orange bit is a little bit different as well. So I can bring this down here. And so now I can just go through and do the same thing with the MIDI. Go ahead and, you know, paint stuff in here. And, you know, you could get off the grid too. You don't have to be on the grid. You can, you know, do your command four to get off the grid and, you know, paint in stuff here and kind of see what happens. Let's see what it sounds like. Yeah, so, I mean, for the most part it works, maybe a couple of things, not exactly, but you know, I'm just gonna take the take lanes up here and then, you know, maybe if I wanna just bring this over, I can use this in different sections, right? It just as a little bit of a difference, a little bit of a deviation from the original 808 that I had here. So maybe kind of down here, I wanna bring this over, I could just bring it over like that. And, you know, of course I can, consolidate it just like normal and do a command J there and make it its own clip. Super fun. Also, you can do super creative stuff with this. Did I say super? <laughs> I think it's amazing. So you could do tons of creative processing with audio as well as MIDI, get some interesting sounds going on, get some interesting rhythms and melodies just by trying out different comic techniques in Live 11.